Dr. Gainkop wants future leaders to be part of the solution to the challenges facing all citizens. Today, Namibians continue to face challenges, although they, they may be different to those faced 57 years ago. However, these challenges threaten the future of our country. They threaten our unity, peace and stability. These challenges of structural poverty, unemployment and inequality constitute the second phase of our struggle. The head of state says Namibia has, over the past 27 years, seen establishment of robust governance and a stable economy, including freedoms that were not enjoyed before independence. Our youth should become the harbingers of prosperity by being innovative, forward-thinking and at the cutting edge of the information age. We cannot have a situation where our youth regress, they must only progress. We are saying forward ever, backward. Yeah. Regarding the recent downgrading of Namibia's economy, Dr. Gangop assured citizens that the country is on a recovery path. Government has been able to save more than 3 billion Namibian dollars due to the austerity measures implemented over the past several months. Three billion. This was not done due to advice of Moody's or Fitch, but due to our own initiatives. Already we are witnessing a positive growth in gross domestic product. And we are confident that by next year our economy will be trending positively again. The Congress is expected to elect its office bearers, including the new Secretary of the SPYL and Deputy Secretary. Two candidates, Mandela Kapere and the Oshana Region's Youth Forum Chairperson, Ephraim Nekongo, are contesting the position of SPYL Secretary.